Hey everybody, it's Greg Rice. We're here in the Bucket, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And today we're going to talk about towing. We're going to be talking about towing off of your rental property, your private property that is, for vehicles that maybe are abandoned, disabled, unregistered, you name it. And we see it on a frequent basis. It's quite funny the things we see. I got a picture in my phone. Um, I'll actually put it in this video. It's a picture of an engine. Somebody took out an engine and just left it in the yard. I don't know. Um, very strange. So the bottom line is you need to know how to manage and handle these situations because it could become an eyesore. It could deter quality tenants from wanting to live in your home. It can make the neighbors upset, etc. So first things first, when you own a rental property, you need to designate an authorized agent that is your exclusive tower at the property. And what they have to do is put up a sign that says, Joe's Towing monitors this lot, unregistered, disabled, abandoned vehicles to be towed at vehicle owner's expense. Some type of blurb on there that notifies everybody that sees it clearly what's going to happen if they do one of those things. And most commonly, it's vehicles without license plates. So the car is intact. Okay, it's got four tires, the tires have air, it's in operable condition, but the plates have been removed. And then it sits there. And then when it sits there, it's taking up a spot. It's, you know, doing other things, rodents, it's attracting leaves and the snow mounds burying it. It's just sitting there, it's an eyesore. But the tenant still has the duty to maintain that registration in our eyes. In our lease, it says all vehicles on the property must be registered. This is not going to become a junkyard. You're not going to do oil changes. You're not going to do car repairs. All vehicles must be registered. And we have our signs posted. Joe's towing, authorized agent. He's going to come and yank you. And if this does happen, we have, we do 100% have the right to tow it without notice. But we don't do that. We don't suggest you do that either. You should, you should give notice, at least, at least 72 hours notice, three days, okay? Maybe the tenant is getting new plates in the mail. Maybe they're getting it towed to a car repair shop. Maybe they're selling the vehicle. There's a lot of things that could be going on that you don't want to potentially cause an unnecessary conflict, uh, you know, for no reason. So we suggest giving at least a three-day window, hey, tenant, you think... You can move this vehicle by Monday or, you know, get it registered, get it fixed, get it operating so you can drive it. Who knows? Give them an opportunity. Then after those three days, if the situation remains unchanged, tow the freaking thing. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. And the vehicle owner is the one that pays for it. So you're not paying to tow that vehicle. The tower is grabbing the car. When the tenant calls... Joe's towing, he's going to tell them where they can come, get their vehicle. He's going to hand them the bill. You know, it might be a couple hundred bucks. Or if they leave it there a long time, they could get hit with storage fees too. But if they don't claim the vehicle, then ultimately the tower has the right to reclaim possession and, 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 and essentially owns the car if a certain amount of time lapses. And you can check that out. I don't want to get into that on this video. But the point is, it's not going to become your problem. The only problem you're going to have is the tenant calling you saying, where the hell is my car? And you need to set, give them some type of warnings, the sign, proper notice, etc. before you do something like that. And if you do not have those signs posted for your authorized agent, then you should give still three days notice. You call a company in, you as the owner will have to provide written documentation as you would with your authorized agent to say, hey, Please tow this 2002 Civic non-registered color black, whatever it is. Describe the vehicle so that they can come and uh, tow it properly. So you have options. You have options. And as a private property owner, you are ultimately in charge. So just make sure that you use that authority and that power responsibly. Once again, Greg Rice here in the bucket, your property managed.